Hi, I'm Cy Asprey and welcome to In The Spotlight. Tonight, we've got a treat for you. We're going into the Constitution Club here in Swaddling Coat to see a fabulous duo called Acoustic Haystacks, if you'd like to follow me. As you can see, we're inside the Constitution Club in Swaddling Coat, and with me, some fine gents, fabulous act called Acoustic Haystacks. Good evening, gents. Good evening, sir. You all right? I'm all right, thank you. Now, I've been hearing a lot about you, and obviously you were a brand new act in, in such as you've only been together how long? Well, we've been together in a year, since last February. Uh, we met through the Gresley Mo Voice Choir. Uh, Lucas here is a tenor, and I'm a baritone, so we thought the harmonies would sort of gel together and work. Yeah, so you've got that kind of different blend there that sort of works together in a fusion of, yeah. of kind of harmonies <laughs> and stuff. So what kind of... Variety, so yeah, kidding. so what, what kind of music do you do? Um, well, we cover mainly. Uh, mainly 50s, 50s, 60s and 70s. Oh, OK. Um, a lot of Beatles. Um, quite typical stuff for, like, covers, bands, but... Uh, We've got a few of our own songs that we're trying to work in as well. Just trying to get really good at the, uh, the old stuff, really. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can't beat the classics. I love the classics. I love the 50s and the 60s, especially. Now, um, also, I understand that you're also sort of taking part in writing your own stuff, mm -hmm. your own original material. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I'm, I mainly songwrite. Um, and then when I bring a song to Lucas, he adds piano parts or guitar parts. And it's, it just works like that. We're, we're quick at working and learning. Yeah, sure. Uh, and that's, that's uh, one good thing why he's in the band, really. Yeah. OK, so um, in terms of your, your songwriting then, um, in terms of the actual material you're writing, what are the songs actually about then? Lost love, basically. Because okay. I've been through a lot of lost love in my life. Um, and basically it just comes, comes from the heart. You know, it's, uh, it's really gut-wrenching stuff, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, same as the song After I'm Gone. Um, you know, it's basically come from a lost love that I had. Uh, three, four years ago now. Well, no, six years ago, should I say. I mean, we can all, obviously can all relate to that and, uh, you know, songs of the heart, if you like. Um, also, for the viewers back at home as well, the kind of music you're going to be performing um, on a regular basis, is it, is it kind of upbeat stuff or...? Yeah, I mean, uh, personally, I mean, um, when I started playing guitar, um, I was very much into sort of... Uh, more softer, folky sort of stuff to sing, um, which doesn't really translate that well when you're trying to like entertain people live and stuff. So, especially as a duo. So uh, yeah, that'll be. I'm really looking forward to hearing some of your music. I really am, and I'm sure the viewers back home are looking uh, forward to hearing some of your original material. Competition. Yes. Um, yes. Can you last, tell us a bit about that? Well, last year it all came from my brother Chris Drayton, actually. Um, basically, had his band, a Burning Sun, from Scunthorpe, oh, and okay. they entered a competition called Live and Unsigned, which I went to watch. And then I thought, hang on a minute, when we got together, I thought, I want a bit of that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I signed up for the Open Mic UK uh, talent competition. Yeah, it's massive. National competition, National isn't it? National competition. Uh, it's like X Factor and Britain's Got Talent, but on a lower scale. Oh, you know okay. What I mean? But there is judges there from Radio 1, Kerrang, uh, wow. MTV and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we got, we got in touch with that. Uh, and then last year we went to Sheffield for the audition. We got through the first audition, went to the regional final. Unfortunately, we didn't get any further, but it was 14 out of 
what, so many hundreds of people who went, we got yeah, through? Yeah, yeah. We wow, really so that's an achievement in itself, isn't it? I mean, obviously, you know, to even get that far, you know, that's a massive um, boost for you as yeah. well, your confidence and as an act as well. Definitely. Um, so will you be doing that again? Is that a yes. competition you're going to be revisiting? Yes, we're going again this uh, in September, Sunday the 1st of September in Sheffield. Right. Early start, but never what? mind. Oh, <laughs> We've got to, if it's got to be done, it's got to be done. You never know. We might we might even coverage that. You never know yeah. down the line if we, if we can get that far. It's a bit far away, but you never know. But um, in terms of the obviously, you know, your progression in your music and, and everything else. Um, for me, and most importantly, is where can the viewers and myself go to to learn more about your music and listen to you a bit more? Well, we're on Facebook. We have a Facebook page, the okay. Acoustic Haystack. Uh, just put in the search bar there. Yeah, uh, we're on there. All by our pages, Graham Drayton page or the YouTube yeah. page. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Just, just search there and there we are. If you're an act back home, whether you sing, whether you act, whether you've got a talent, please get in touch with myself at Burton TV News. The email is on the screen in front of me. Thank you. You've been watching In the Spotlight. Good night.